Welcome to October, ladies and gentlemen, where the candles are green, the bears aren't ever seen, and the profits are of what we dream. In today's video, we will say our farewells to September and our hello to October. So let's not waste any more time and dive right into today's analysis. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful in investors. The goal of this channel is to empower you, the community, with the knowledge and resources to get you guys up to that next level. So if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications and like the video. So it is only right to start off the month with, of course, the monthly chart. This is what we do every month when we end a month and start a new month. We look back at what happened and what's to come. So you can see here the September candle ended up being red after two months of green candles. Of course, before that, we had the three months of red candles starting in April all the way down to June. So you guys can see here that September, we opened up at $47,120 and we ended up closing the month at $43,829. So that was a drop overall about of about 7% in September for Bitcoin. If we look at the overall total market cap here, you see the same exact thing here. You see that we were down about 7% on the month of September. But do not worry, guys, because in October, we're, we are already up 8.5% in total market cap. In Bitcoin, we're already up over 9% today. In Bitcoin, we opened up the month at 43,825 and we're currently sitting at around $48,000, guys. So remember, in August, we made a video talking about how September could be a down month. Remember, we can never predict these things. We just take historical data and then, you know, give it to you guys and try to come up with uh, probabilities for the future, right? So in August, we told you guys September could be a down month. What happened? It was a down month. Now, during September, we told you guys in October, it is very high probability that it is a up month. Now we don't know, today's only the first day. So we can't say that it's going, that it is a up month yet, but so far it is a great start as we're up over 9% on the day on the 1st of October. If we look at the levels here, you can see that after this, we hit the top over here at that $65,000, we dropped all the way to this Fibonacci level here, which held, that's right around that $28,000 range. And you can see how that held for three months straight. So we were testing that for three months before heading back up. And then you can see that the level that we're at right now that we've been getting rejected by is right here and that is that fifty thousand dollar area you can see that we've had a test of fifty thousand we got rejected back down to the bottom of this range remember we always trade in ranges right now our range is between forty two thousand to fifty thousand dollars so this is the range and that's exactly where we've been for the last three months. So although we had a test below 42 for the month of September, we ended up overall closing above it, which is of course bullish. And it's it's all bullish for me. I believe now in October, October, we sh could and should be seeing a retest of 50,000 and beyond. If we look at the monthly candlesticks here, you can see that we've been setting up higher highs and higher lows, right? Higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. So you can see that since June, we've had higher highs and higher lows. So we expect that trend to continue. If, it, if this would let me 
draw a straight line, which unfortunately it doesn't, it makes me draw this ridiculous looking line, we would be expecting Bitcoin to at least go up to around $55,000 this month. So as you guys look at this squiggly channel, you can see that the highs have been at the top of this range every time and the lows have been at the bottom. So if we continue to look there, then we can say that the low for this month will be currently where we are or at least above this low right here, which it was around that $40,000 range. And the high could be around that $55,000 range. And that could go up to, you know, potentially beyond that, you know, around 56, 57. And if we get lucky, $60,000. If we look back here at our historical data of September, October, November, and December, you can see that September has been historically the most bearish month for Bitcoin since it was since it's been tracked right and october and november has historically been the most bullish months in bitcoin so when you put this data together along with this data together showing that we're getting higher highs and that we're in a ascending channel to the upside it all points to the same story that we should be seeing prices go up higher this month and for the rest of the fourth quarter into December. Now, how high can we go? That we can't say. There's no way to ever actually know that or, and be able to predict that. We can just kind of look at, you know, what's happened before and what could happen in the future. You can see here last October, we went up 28%. Last November, we went up 42%. And last December, we went up 47%. So not saying that that's go going to happen again, because those were really, really big rises in Bitcoin from a much smaller amount of, of value. But if we were to move that, you can see that in those three months, Bitcoin went up over 170% last year. If we grab this and move it at its current price and say that Bitcoin would do the same thing that it did last year as far as movement. Now you, you'll see that now it's not 170%. Now it would be around 42% of a move because of the price difference. So that would kind of put us right back at our previous all time highs right here at that 62 to $65,000 range. And I really believe that if we get back to the previous all time highs, that we're probably going to break it. So, you know, although this is showing a 42% move, I think that we can definitely see a move beyond 42% into at least the 70 to $80,000 range. If we get some big catalyst type of news where there's another big company that's adding Bitcoin to its balance sheets, Tesla picking Bitcoin back up, things like that, then I definitely could see Bitcoin hitting $100,000 by the end of this year. It is not out of reach. It is still a long shot, but it is not out of reach. If we take a look here at Ethereum, you can see that it's pretty much the same chart. Ethereum, for the most part, follows Bitcoin. So that's something that, that we have to always kind of keep in mind. Ethereum, for the most part, follows Bitcoin and then every now and then it deviates away from it and either moves up really big or moves lower. But usually it's when it deviates away from Bitcoin is because it's moving up a little bit more while Bitcoin kind of stands still. Now you can see that Ethereum on the month of September was down about 12 and a half percent. Like I always tell you guys, Ethereum's movement is always going to exaggerate whatever Bitcoin's movement is. So Bitcoin was down about six and a half, seven percent uh, last month. Ethereum is down twelve and a half percent. And if you notice right now, Ethereum and Bitcoin are both around the same as far as movement on today. So that means that Ethereum is actually lagging a little bit behind, although it's up about 10 percent today. It's actually lagging a bit behind because it should be up more in the range of 12 to 15 percent usually when there's a big move. Now, because what I think is because the move is so big in Bitcoin today, some of that Bitcoin domination, 
some of that Bitcoin dominance is going back into Bitcoin and Bitcoin dominance has gone up today up about a half percentage. So some of that money is flowing out of Ethereum and into Bitcoin, which is why uh, Ethereum's move, although it's up a little bit more than Bitcoin itself, it's up about half a percent only on Bitcoin versus usually it exaggerated at a much more rapid pace. So expect Ethereum to definitely catch up in that aspect. I think maybe when we get back to around 3,500, we could pop up beyond 3,500 rather quickly and maybe retest this level up here, which was at $44,000 range. And, and we could hit, we could definitely hit Ethereum's all time high before we hit Bitcoin's previous all time high. So I fully expect if we break above $50,000 in Bitcoin, I fully expect for Ethereum to be breaking at that same point, probably be breaking about $5,000. All right, so next let's go ahead and look at some trade setups that we will be watching over the weekend to make some profits. Now that we're in October, we're expecting prices to go up. What trades are we going to be taking to make profits over the next couple of days? Let's dive in and take a look. Before we do that, make sure that if you guys are new to the channel to subscribe and turn on those notifications and like this video if you've made it this far. It only takes a second to do, so go ahead and smash that like button right now. All right, so as you guys can see here, this is the chart that we looked at on Monday's video where we showed you guys the head and shoulders and we had this descending resistance line, which we were having, we had lower highs and lower low. And we finally today invalidated that lower highs, lower lows. And we broke over, we broke out of this resistance line, which is why we got such a good breakout here where we also liquidated a lot of short positions, which is why the breakout and the move happened so rapidly. So remember the trade that we gave you guys on Monday's video was $42,000 guys. If you guys entered at 42,000 on that break back above it and rode it to where we currently are right now, that's a 14% move guys. And if you use 10 X leverage, like we do, that's 140% profit on that trade. I hope you guys took that trade. Today's trade, we're, we are looking for 48,000 as the first entry here. Now you can see that we're basically at 48,000 and while we're recording this, it's probably going to break above 48,000 as we're watching it right now. We just hit 48,000. So I imagine that we could be consolidating in this range a little bit though. So you have to be careful. We don't want to risk too much here. Yet. Not yet. You can see over here, we had a lot of consolidation in that range. You can see over here, we also had a lot of consolidation in that range and over here yet again. So we're only risking a little bit here, but that is that first breakout that we're looking to take here at 48,000. You know, we're going to keep the, the stop losses pro probably pretty close. We don't want to, we don't want to take big losses on this so we're we're risking one percent our stop losses are only a few hundred dollars below probably and then the next entry here that we're looking for and our, our, our target from the forty eight thousand dollar entry is of course fifty thousand and our next entry is going to be above fifty thousand dollars so if we see prices go up, we are entering there as we go above it. Right now, you guys can see we're sitting at 48,000. This is the perfect entry here. So this is a perfect time to enter. We've already signaled it in our trade room. So if you guys are in our trade room, you already have this trade set up. If you guys are interested in the trade room, you can go below, look at the description. There is a link there that you can click and it will take you to the sign up for our Discord group. Now, if prices were to come back down because we had a very big move, there is the potential that we come back and retest the bottom over here of this resistance line and turn it into support. That next bounce back entry would be above $45,000. So if we saw anything like this, when it bounced back up, we are entering $45,000. In Ethereum, you see the same thing. We basically had the same head and shoulders set up. We had the descending resistance. We got the breakout. We had the lower highs, lower lows. We invalidated that pattern. 
So now we're waiting to try to get back up here to invalidate this head and shoulders uh, pattern. Now the trade setup that we gave you guys on Monday's video was an entry above $3,000. If you guys took that entry, that's up about 10%. That's a, if you use 10X leverage like we do, that's 100% profit on that trade, guys. Congrats to those of you who took it. And anyone who took this one, the bounce back entry at $2,800, that went up 17% from the $2,800 mark, about 17.5% with 10X leverage, that's 175% profit on that trade. If you took that guys, congrats as well. So let's jump into the trade setups that we will be taking today. Dips provide opportunity, guys. When there's dips, instead of being scared, you should be setting up these trades to make profits on the way back up. So the first entry that we're watching is, of course, 3200. We would like to see not that we would like to see the prices go down, but if the prices were to pull back when we get a bounce back over 3200, that's when we would be looking for entries there. The very next entry is going to be here above this Fibonacci level. You can see that last time we broke above there, which was that 3,500 area, we had this big 11% candle on the daily. So we will be looking for something like that again this weekend, a break above 3,500. We are entering trades there. And of course, if we were to fall back down to the 3,000 level, we are looking for bounce back entries at that level yet again. So that's pretty much it for us guys. We've covered everything we wanted to touch on. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification. It helps us a ton and it helps you guys make some profits too on videos like this one. So I hope you guys have a great weekend. We will see you guys on Monday. As always, peace and love.